At this plant just north of Dallas, Raytheon produces some of the most sophisticated sensors and night vision equipment in the world. Our products are critical uh, for both fighting terrorism and also for defending our country. Because final use ranges from satellites to submarines, each piece is tested in a chamber that recreates stressful environments. We cycle between hot and cold temperatures to simulate altitude humidity, and then uh, do a functional test afterwards. If they pass, then they are built properly. In 2008, rising utility bills prompted executives to issue a company-wide mandate. Each of us was sent off to see what we could do to reduce energy usage in our area. Environmental test lab manager Mark Taylor put together a team. Were you able to standardize them? Which together developed a smaller compressor that maintains test conditions once they're established by two larger compressors. It's a unique setup and it utilizes one-fifth the power. It's been really successful. So successful, in fact, that engineers initially couldn't believe the projected savings. When we first did the schematics on the savings per unit, it was getting anywhere from 65 to 70 percent. Uh, that was a little bit unbelievable, so we told management, oh, I think it's going to be somewhere around 35 or 40 percent. The high savings projections held and the $1.5 million price tag to retrofit paid off in less than two years.